Hi guys, and welcome to yet another very exciting video tutorial. I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. First of all write your text in the work area with the type tool. Increase its size. Font type should be appearing at this moment, upper left corner. Right click and convert the text into outlines. Right click once again and ungroup all of the letters. Increase the size of the letters 2 and 3. Bring down number 3 and put a small rectangle shape between these two letters. Join them together with the help of the Shape Builder tool. Now select all the shapes and change their fill color to white and increase the stroke size a little for better visibility, of course. Select the pen tool and start making small shapes on your text shapes. Click drag with the left mouse button to curve the line. Now repeat the same process for the rest of the letters. In the meantime I would like to request you guys for your honest feedback on the video topic, audio quality, and the speed and pacing of the video. It will really help me improve a lot, so it will be very kind of you to use the comment section. It's down there for a reason. Now let's apply the colors to our text shapes. Select all the shapes and turn off the stroke color. Now hold the Alt key and drag to make a duplicate copy of the text letters. Combine all the shapes into one by the Combine command in the Pathfinder panel. Let's leave this layer alone for now. We will use it later on. Select our letter shapes again and go to Windows and click on 3D Material Panel. Go to Object Panel inside it and click on the Inflate option. It will take some time and change it into this balloon shape objects. Now there are many things here to play around and I you encourage to explore on yourself later on. But if you want the exact result that I have achieved, I suggest that you dial in the same value as I am using. In the Material window change the Roughness to 0.43 and the Matelik to 0.2%. Now go to Lighting and change only the Softness to 55%. Leave the rest of the values alone. Now go and click on this drop-down panel. Turn on the ray tracing. Make the quality high. Check mark, render to vector, and uncheck the noise perimeter. Click render in the end. It will take some time depending on your PC because it's a heavy process. Hold the shift key to select millipole objects at the same time. Once selected, input the same values as we did before. Apply the same values as before. Once all the shapes are rendered then close the 3D panel. Select the lower shape that we created and turn its fill color to black and reduce its opacity to 25%. and let's place it under our main text as a shadow. Now let's make another text with the help of the Type tool. Change the font type from Extra Bold to Semi Bold. You can write whatever you like. I am going to write Happy New Year. Adjust its size. Give blue color. Right-click it and change it also to Outlines. Then go to 3D Panel again. Apply the same values as before. By the way, feel free to experiment in this area as much as you like, because I am going for a certain design look. That does not mean that you need to follow me exactly.
In the end, select the rectangle tool and make the background shape from it. 1280 by 720 is the standard size of my illustration. Change its color and align it to the work area. And send it to the background where it belongs. The design is complete but I like to throw in just one more effect to the mix. Apply the blur effect with 1% strength just to make everything a little bit more cute and soft. And that's it, I hope you liked the video. I wish you a very happy new year, and I pray that all your wishes come true in this coming year. Please do subscribe to the channel, share the video as a next year gift for me, thanks in advance. Also please tell me, what do you want to see next?